My father had always been a learned person. He was always learning a lot. My son was in reads gaining some ikhra. If he was there, I figured that's a good place for me to be as well. It's not that often that you find stuff out about your family in class. We were taking a course in contemporary halacha. The subject of prenuptial agreements came up. He was talking about how 30 years ago no one would have done the lachik prenup. It just wasn't so common. I mentioned that I had gotten one 30, you know, 30 years earlier. Which was not the normal thing to find out in class. And he was completely in shock. He thought he knew everything about me. Another funny moment. I, w I was in a class with him on a Monday. And he gives me a call um, after class asking me where I was. He didn't show up. And it turns out I was going to an NC Swai Shabbaton, which he knew but had forgotten. His father calls him and says, where are you? <laughs> I asked, how was the class? He's like, oh, it was great. And I signed you in on the sign-in sheet. <laughs> I did not. That would be the signs. In this past year, I've realized you continually get smicha. The real world lives in grays that lives in between the black and white on the paper. You constantly need to keep on learning. And so I don't feel like this is an end for us. I don't feel like this is even a beginning for us. It's, it's part of the process. It offered me the opportunity to learn much more than I could on my own. I just think that, that the broad educational experience was, was something that really enhanced me as, as being a practicing Jew. REITS gives unparalleled options. REITS, uh, I can't really say enough good things about it. Being able to fuse this constantly changing modern world with this tradition that we've had for so long and living in that tension. And it's through that tension that we can create something that can really be transformative for the Orthodox Jewish experience.